Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. My name is Daniel, and in today's video, I want to share with you something for all you dog lovers out there. Uh, whether you're in RV transport or you travel a lot, or even if you're just brand new to the channel uh, and you don't know anything about RV transport, uh, I want to share a product with you that I've been using for several years now, ever since I got Ryder, uh, my dog, the Golden Retriever. Uh, he's been out on the road with me uh, since really about eight weeks old. And uh, I've had a uh, GPS tracker uh, on him the entire time. And this tracker is called the Whistle Go Explore GPS. Uh, this is a dog tracker, essentially. Uh, it is run off the AT&T uh, phone signal, as well as Google Maps. Um, I've had this tracker on him. Uh, it's, you know, works 24 seven, basically, uh, at home and out on the road. Uh, there's lots of different features. This thing is incredible. Um, this has lasted, well, he's, uh, what, almost three now, a little over three. And uh, it's, it's been great. We got it really close to uh, when he was really starting to uh, try to explore when he maybe shouldn't. Uh, and so I wanted to make sure that we could always find him. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to share some features with you. Uh, if you have a pet out on the road, uh, if you are in RV transport or maybe you do other things, uh, if you are interested in looking into a dog GPS tracker, um, I highly recommend this. There's lots of features I'm going to get into here in a minute. Uh, but I just want to share this with you uh, if this could be a help to you with your dog. The first thing I do want to talk about this uh, GPS tracker is that uh, it has a 20 day or up to 20 day battery life uh, just off of one charge. Uh, so depending on whether you're connected to Wi-Fi at your home, obviously if you're you know, out on the road, uh, it's going to be ping, pinging off of the AT&T signal uh, requiring more battery life. But if you're on the home Wi-Fi, uh, this requires less battery life and it can go up to about 20 days at the longest. Uh, for me, I've definitely seen close to that. Uh, at, at times, I've seen less than that. Um, I, I think it's a pretty reasonable number that they're giving. So. A very long battery life to, to last. It does not take days to charge. Uh, it is so very small. It's got a lithium ion battery inside of it uh, that lasts for a very long time seemingly and it doesn't actually take that long to charge. Uh, we're talking a matter of hours um, and I will get a text message from the app uh, letting me know hey his battery, uh, the actual uh, tracker is fully charged and ready to go. Uh, really great battery life. That's the name of the game for me, for how often I forget to charge devices. Uh, that's why I really am not responsible enough to have a an Apple Watch because you have to charge it so, so often and I just, it doesn't work for me for how I operate as a person. So uh, battery life is huge, especially out on the road. That's It's a great feature to have, having such a long battery life. Next, as you can probably tell, uh, it has a built-in flashlight, uh, basically a flasher if it's in you know nighttime, uh, if you're at a truck stop, if you're somewhere else, you know uh, where you normally wouldn't be, and you you know your dog runs off or something like that. Um, hopefully not. Um, it's got a light that you can, if if it's if nothing else, you have uh, a couple different options: a slow option, as well as. Uh, I just about turned it off here, as well as a fast uh, flash. So it's got a little bit uh, of a faster flash there. You can see uh, just enough light. Uh, hopefully it's not blinding you. Uh, I doubt it is, but <laughs> just enough light uh, to really get a sense of where in the world your dog is. Um, I've had to use this maybe once or twice um, at big, big truck stops or places where there's a big field behind uh, the truck area and uh, Ryder wandered off a little bit, a little bit too far. So um, great little flashlight built in. Uh, this whole thing actually is waterproof. Um, so Ryder and I have been through just about everything. Um, this thing has been soaked. This thing has been wet. Um, obviously uh, there's the back to it uh, where this kind of locks in to where it goes to his collar. Uh, there is a opening to where you could potentially get water maybe into the opening there, but that has never happened. I've never had any issues. It's never lost power like that. Uh, there's never been really anything at all that's happened wrong with this as far as water uh, getting into it. Um, it's gotten dirty sometimes. 
Uh, but even then, I've been able to just wipe it off and it's good to go. So it also is waterproof. Another feature that I really do like about this is that it will give me updated reports as well as I can see on a daily basis. Uh, the actual monitoring of his licking, his sleeping, and his scratching. So if you have a dog that normally doesn't lick a lot, that doesn't scratch themselves a lot, uh, that normally gets good sleep, uh, as much as you can really track that yourself, um, you're able to see that and this device is able to do it. Uh, it's able to track really a long history. Once, he, once the dog wears it long enough, it's able to follow the pattern of how they sleep throughout the night. It's, it's pretty bizarre, it's pretty crazy. Uh, but this thing has been so handy to be able to see when he's been itching or licking too much. We've been looking into, okay, well, we know golden retrievers, uh, they have some allergy issues. So let's look at that. Let's talk to the vet. Uh, we've coordinated with them. Like we, we've really been able to have a good handle on some of these things as they're real time coming in. This has been able to help us figure that stuff out. So uh, this is another huge thing, a monitoring system for all these types of potential issues uh, coming up for your dog. Another incredible feature about this along the monitoring system uh, is that it's actually able to uh, give you an activity measurement of what your dog is doing all day. Uh, how many calories they're burning is one uh, thing it measures. It measures the distance that they're actually traveling throughout the day, even in your own home or at the truck stop or wherever. It's able to actually find out and share with you how active your dog truly is. Uh, and then lastly, it's able to track how much rest your dog's actually getting. So uh, for me, with Ryder out on the road, it's long periods of rest and then short periods of, you know, with truck stops. Uh, when we do get home and those things, we're able to see his pattern of how much sleep is he getting, um, how much activity is he getting, is he getting enough? Uh, this app that comes with this actual device on your phone, uh, Apple or Android, I believe, it will actually share with you and give you ideas of a goal for a dog this size, this weight, uh, of what the activity and type of um, you know distance it needs to go. So uh, for Ryder, uh, he needs to get as much activity as possible. I can't remember what that actually was uh, on here, uh, but we have a daily goal every single day of calories and distance, and uh, my phone will alert me every time we hit that or we're getting close, or it'll say, hey, you know, if he's been on the road with me several times, multiple times, um, you know, in a row in a, in a week, it'll say, hey, Ryder has, you know, he's not really close to hitting his weekly, uh, you know, average, or uh, it's not actually getting, he's not hitting his daily goal, or hey, he has been hitting his daily goal multiple times in the last four days, or so, things like that. This app is able to actually help uh, give you a, you know, awareness of what your dog's really doing. Um, I know for us, it's even more important uh, for us, if we're in our trucks, we need to be active. We need to be doing as much as we can, staying in motion uh, because we're just stationary in the trucks. Uh, the same goes for our dogs, uh, maybe to a little lesser degree, they need to stay active. Uh, we can help them and make sure that we're making sure that they are you know, actually getting that activity that they need on a regular basis consistently. So that's another really cool thing, an activity monitor. The next feature I want to share with you uh, is the actual real-time GPS tracker that it is. Um, it has a full display of the Google Maps and you're able to see down, I believe down to, it'll ping this device, I think down to every single second. Uh, you can do five seconds, you can do 10 seconds, I think up to a minute or a couple minutes long. Uh, if you can see your dog or you, you know the general area where your dog is at, you're actually able to ping them live real time uh, to the point where you can know exactly precisely the route they took, how long that route was, how long it took to do that full circuit, whatever that looks like for your dog, um, real time tracking down to the second. That's incredible. Um, that's pretty amazing. Uh, of course, when you do that, you're going to use up more battery life probably. Uh, it's going to eat that up much quicker. Uh, but if you occasionally do let your dog go run out into a, into a field or whatever that looks like, I, I'm <laughs> saying kind of wild stuff, you know, uh, if you have that safe opportunity for your dog or your pet to do this, um, I, I think it really could be pretty neat to have that. Uh, if you wanted to you know, be able to find them if they did go a little further out than you originally intended. Uh, so that's a pretty neat thing, the real time tracker down to the second. 
One of the last features that this does have uh, is that it's able to have safe places built into the app, built into your phone to where you're able to monitor when your dog leaves that safe place or not. I know there's now people who need safe spaces uh, out there. Well, we have them for your dog as well now, apparently. Uh, a safe place is basically run off of the home Wi-Fi network of your home, of maybe a friend's home you bring the dog over to, wherever that looks like for you. Uh, if you have a Wi-Fi connection uh, run off of, you have the password to their, their Wi-Fi, you're actually able to link this device to their Wi-Fi network, which will allow, first of all, less battery life to go through it, uh, as well as, when you create that safe place, uh, you're able to actually, with your finger on the map, you're actually able to box in the dog into, or you know whatever pet you have, box in your animal into a space that you want the dog to stay in. If the animal were to get out of that safe place, uh, let's say they dig a, a tunnel underneath the actual backyard um, fence, and they get outside, as soon as that disconnects from the Wi-Fi and it's too far away, you will be alerted. You also have the ability to have other people be alerted. So for me, uh, my family, you know, my wife and I, we both have the app. We're able to track him uh, because he can be a little bit of a, an escape artist. Uh, we're able to track him where he is at as soon as he, if he were to leave the Wi-Fi uh, connection zone, uh, safe place. Uh, so uh, we're alerted. Uh, I think my mom is alerted as well. We have a safe place for him over at my mom's house. Uh, we have him cleaned over there. And uh, basically we're able to know where he's at at all times. Uh, when he leaves the safe place, uh, we're alerted uh, what direction he's going, where, and of course we can do the real time tracking. Uh, but basically we're alerted by text message or I think even email. They, they, whatever you want, they'll send it to you. Uh, basically able to notify you where and when your dog left uh, that safe place. So uh, anyways, that's been very, very helpful for us. Um, along with that, there's the initial price uh, that you have to pay for this, but then there's a monthly cost after that to continue that AT&T uh, phone line connection because that's essentially what's pinging the device. Um, so basically, um, that's a annual fee. Uh, that will come up. Uh, it will be billed to your, uh, you know, card that's on file in your app. Um, you're actually able to also uh, that comes free with that full subscription is that you're able to talk with a vet. Uh, you're able to get recommendations. Uh, I'm just kind of shooting from the hip several other items that are uh, built into this, but basically uh, recommendations off of your uh, your breed, your weight of the dog, and uh, the type of food that your dog's eating. Uh, there's many different features on this uh, where you can get support. Support for, of course, the device, which I've honestly not really needed, but really support for your dog as just getting help. Um, instead of spending a whole bunch of money or calling down to the vet, um, you can get live help from people actually on this app that comes with this device. Uh, so overall, we're, we're blown away by it. We're very, very happy. Um, I initially searched for hours and hours. I watched so many YouTube videos talking about different dog GPS trackers. And I, I knew I wanted to have the safe place at home so that when he is home and we're not out on the road, we know he's safe, we know he's good. As soon as he leaves that, we need to know what's going on to be alerted as soon as possible. All the other features, waterproof, the, the flashing light, the activity tracker, the monitors from the licking and the, uh, the scratching and the sleeping, all those things, fantastic stuff. Uh, but the name of the game for us was just his overall safety, knowing exactly where he's at, when we need to know. And uh, we're able to do that with this. It's been uh, roughly three years and uh, very, very happy. Battery life has really not changed at all. Um, I, I see no real difference in that. And uh, it's accomplishing exactly what we want when I'm out on the road with him and when he's home. Um, so uh, very, very happy with this. This is the GPS tracker I've been using out on the road uh, as a commercial driver. Um, if you have any questions, I would love to help, love to answer anything. Um, if you want more videos on this, I would love to share this with you. I'm sure there's other GPS trackers out there for an animal uh, that would do well, but uh, I, this gets five stars for me. Um, 
I've been wanting to talk about this for some time. I uh, thought about you know doing a more live, uh, having Ryder with me with this thing, but I just want to I just want to give you the details of this whole thing of what's really going on with this and uh, what I've experienced. So uh, if I can be of any help to you, please let me know. Uh, again, link is going to be down in the description below. Uh, whether you go directly to uh, their website or I believe I think I'll have the Amazon uh, link as well. Um, I, I would get a commission for this. Uh, a you know whatever affiliate thing so go ahead and check it out uh, if it works out great if not great find something else uh, I would just encourage you to find something for your animal to make sure they're as safe as possible so with all that being said hopefully you have a great day today stay safe as well as your dog and uh, have a good one guys God bless you